So Jackie, there are many great narrative resources here at the Western History Collections, but I was wondering if I could actually look at some pictures that might help me understand what was going on in Oklahoma about this time. Oh, sure, yeah. Um, photographs provide a really great visual record. Um, mm -hmm. It's really good to read about something, but sometimes looking at that picture really kind of makes it come to life. Okay. Um, we're we're going to be at digital.libraries.ou.edu again okay. and go into Western History Collections. And this time, we're going to go down to the photographic archives. Great. Um, we're going to go into the gallery mm -hmm. link. Um, and just know that this is just a gallery. Um, mm -hmm. They're thumbnail images, and so they can't be blown up or, or downloaded or anything. Um, it is just kind of a thumbnail browsing type of situation. Okay. Um, our gallery defaults to an alphabetical sort by collection list. Mm -hmm. Fantastic if you know which collection you're looking for. Mm -hmm. You need a subject, we do have a subject sort as well. Okay. We've got a couple of collections we'd like to look at. Right. So let's go to the Kathleen Faux collection. And it is, again, just alphabetical listing. Mm -hmm. And let's go into Cherokee within her collection. She oh. can kind of see thumbnail images yeah. for the, the images that are in the collection. Mm -hmm. um, lots of these are depicting Cherokee life, Cherokee families. Again, really great resource to kind of see real life. Right. Um, there will be some studio portraits in some of the collections. Mm -hmm. Some of the collections do a really good job of capturing um, that daily life experience. Mm -hmm. Underneath each image, there's a short little description, and then there's also a name with a number. Okay. So that name and number, that's how we have the image identified within our collection. Mm -hmm. If there's an image that you see and you're like, I would really like to see that bigger, mm -hmm. um, you can either email us or you can come visit us, and we can actually pull the original image for you. We oh, just wonderful. need that name and number in mm -hmm. order to be able to do that. Okay. okay. Um, let's look at another collection. Let's go back to that alphabetical listing. Um, and we're actually going to go to the next set of um, letters. And let's look at the Annette Ross Hume collection. Um, that's one of our cornerstone collections here at the Western History Collections. Mm -hmm. um, she was amateur photographer in the Anadarko area um, right around um, the allotment time period. Her husband was the physician there, so she got to see daily life rather than the studio pose photography mm -hmm. that um, traveling photographers took as they went through the area. She got to know the people. They let her photo photograph them in um, very natural settings. So we've got a really good description about Hume and her collection on our page. Mm -hmm. Down towards the bottom, there's a link to where you can actually go view some of the images. And this time, let's actually look at mission schools. Let's focus on that section. She okay. has over 700 images in her specific collection. Mm -hmm. It is part of the Phillips collection. It's the founding of the Phillips photograph collection. Again, you've got thumbnails, there's a brief description, and then there's a name and number oh. underneath each one. Mm -hmm. These are fantastic accounts of life at mm -hmm. uh, the Riverside School yeah. that was um, on the agency. Again, she got to see the daily life. She knew the kids, she knew the teachers, and so she mm -hmm. got to kind of get the behind the scenes look. So really good if you're looking for an account of what was life like at um, a mission school, a reservation school. Mm -hmm. Fantastic collection to see that. Let's go back again to that, to that listing. Our, our collections that are online, it's just a sample of what we have. It's a small, small portion mm -hmm. of the millions of images that we actually have here. Good. You kind of see the online exhibit as the best of the best. Mm -hmm. And so if there's something that you found that you didn't, you didn't quite find what you wanted online, you could email us or come visit us and we'll see what we can find for you. Great. Um, let's look at something that's a little bit different rather than a okay. photograph collection. Let's go to the Kiowa Art Collection. Um, the Kiowa Five mm -hmm. um, artists that were at OU, Oscar Jacobson, um, met with these artists, um, they developed here, and so we've got a sample of their artwork online in our photo archives. And yeah, so you can see, again, these are digital images of the artwork that was done in that Kiowa 5 portfolio. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's just got the description and then they've been given a number. We do do reproductions of our photographic images. Mm -hmm. Our pricing information is available on our website. Um, it's at the bottom of every page under mm -hmm. pricing list. Okay. And it's also at our, top, at our um, front page for pricing information. So okay. the Kiowa um, art exhibit, it's not photograph collection, but mm -hmm. it really is um, one of the most well-known elements really of 
art in Oklahoma. Yeah. And so um, it's kind of got the Oklahoma art movement going. And so this is a really kind of a quick reference for mm -hmm. what were some of the art pieces, um, some of the individual pieces that were part of that beginning movement. Um, beautiful. So, beautiful work. And we do have the uh, portfolios on site as well. If mm -hmm. you, you wanted to see them bigger, we do have the, yeah. the original prints, and so we could definitely let you look at those on site. So lots of good resources in the photo archives. Feel free to browse it by uh, subject, look into some of the collections, and then again, Anything you see that you're interested in, mm -hmm. bring us that name and number. We can either get it bigger for you so you could look at it. Um, we could also do reproductions for you. So Great. just know that's all available for you. Great. Thank you. Yes, this would definitely bring to life some of the narratives that I'm looking at. Good. Thank you so Good. much. You're welcome. Yeah.